Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Anna. Have you finished everything? Hello, Dina. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, good evening. Hello. Well, let's start with the introductory video for section five. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians Okay, so means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic, because they will be able to better see what the others 
parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. Hello, hello. Sorry again. It's one of these days. Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see. And I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too. But if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. Okay, it seems that it stops there. What advice do you have for cyclists? I am so sorry, my dear. But we will finish, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. I will always get in. As far as you wait for me. You cannot see yet. But, okay. I will read you the thought for today because you cannot see it yet. And education isn't how much you have commit to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you know and what you don't. Okay? Again,
and education isn't how much you have committed to memory or even how much you know. It's being Okay, uh, before we continue, uh, let me remind you that we have uh, some people that didn't present uh, the, either their movie or their actor. Okay, uh, that will be on Thursday. And if you have the PPT, please send it to me to check it, okay? I guess that we will lose contact because you cannot see the presentation. Uh, it's a problem in Zoom. I will try to close my uh, video. Maybe that way you can see. Are you there? Okay. Uh, I will have the video close, my video close, my camera, because maybe that way uh, we can present the things better. Okay. Okay, an education isn't how much you have commit to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you know and what you don't. What do you think about this thought? ¿Qué piensan de este pensamiento? Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. In my case, no understand completely context. You don't understand? Okay. No complete in, in okay. any case. La educación no es lo mucho que usted se ha comprometido en memorizar, ni, ni lo mucho que usted sabe, sino es poder diferenciar entre lo que usted sabe y lo que usted no sabe. Ah, oh, ok. Sí, teacher. Ok. Es interesante. Sí, es muy interesante. Continúe. It makes you think, okay? That's the idea. It, it, it makes you wonder uh, what we understand about education and what we have to understand as education. Because if you don't know something, you need to learn it. But you have to know that you don't know it. Si usted no reconoce que no lo sabe, no lo va a querer aprender. Va a creer que ya lo sabe. Pero si usted está consciente que hay ciertas cosas que usted no conoce, entonces se va a preocupar por aprenderlas. Entonces ahí es que usted eh, eh, se está educando. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Sí. Uh, the video we have, it's about uh, another means of transportation that we almost don't use in El Salvador, which is bicycles, okay? And they are talking about uh, Toronto, that they have, or Montreal, excuse me, in Canada, that they have uh, many bicycles, 
but they also have a lot of cars. So what are the things that they Okay, we used to have that problem not with bicycles, but with motorcycles, okay? That because in El Salvador, we have uh, many bicycles, uh, many motorcycles, but uh, sometimes they provoke uh, accidents because uh, they, they are always, trying to move towards the 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 traffic and that's not that's not advisable okay o sea, el problema es que los motociclistas se quieren pasar por todo el tráfico y eso no no, no es recomendable entonces eh, in my opinion eh, they should respect or or try to be less uh, um, what's the name uh, adventurous okay <laughs> okay now in this lesson participants will learn to give recommendations and opinions with ought to should have or got to and must have got to or have to and must, okay? That's to give recommendations and opinions. Okay, now repeat after me. When you think something is a good idea. Something is a good, a good idea. idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. And they also have to uh, have a bag with them because if the pet do poo on the street, they should take it and put it in a bag and put it in, in the garbage, okay? They don't have to leave all the things the pets do on the streets. You know that that, that makes... Uh, some air pollution also because some some pets have uh, parasites and when the excrement gets dry and it's not only for the smell is when it gets dry then uh, the particles goes with the air and when you are talking or or breathing on the streets you are getting that in and those parasites can get into your into your guts okay so cuando usted respira o cuando usted este, está hablando lo, lo, las partículas que van en el aire del excremento que se dejó por ahí se le puede meter en la boca that's why even when you only uh, eat at home it is advisable that you uh, deparasitate at least two times a year o sea que, que tome eh, O sea, para desparasitarse por lo menos dos veces al año. We used to do it on June and on January. Okay. Because it's better to, to be healthy. 
Okay, you never know. And if you eat outside, it's better to do it more, more, more often. O sea, si usted come afuera, eh, se tiene que desparasitar más seguido. Okay. Uh, given recommendations and opinions. Repeat after me. When you think something is absolutely necessary. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. Okay. Laws must pass to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sideways. To park, to park, to park motorcycles. Yo no sé mira, teacher. Sí, eh, lo quité porque se los estoy arreglando porque okay, estaba, okay. estaba todo feo. <ríe> eh, a ver, a ver. Ay, se me perdieron. ¿Dónde están? Aquí. Hoy sí. Okay. People mustn't be permitted. People mustn't be, be permitted to park permitted. motorcycles. Permitted. On the sidewalks. On the sidewalks. You know what is a sidewalk? ¿Saben qué es una sidewalk? Como acera, ¿no? Sí, es la acera. Es la acera. Okay. Entonces, que no se debería de permitir parquear las motocicletas en las aceras. Como hacen en el... Salvador que hasta los carros parquean ahí. Cabal, hasta los carros parquean. Eso es cierto. Es okay. cierto. A rule has sí. to be made. A rule has, has to, to be, be made. made. To, A rule require has to, be to require cycling lanes. To require cycling lanes. On city, city streets. Street. On, city, on city, city streets. On city streets. You on know what cycling city lanes street. are? ¿Saben qué, qué, qué es esto de cycling lanes? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Eh, ¿Se han fijado que allá, por ejemplo, por donde es, creo que por la mascota, donde además de, de tener señalizado por dónde van, qué sé yo, los dos carriles o el carril de, de, de los carros, han puesto otra que va con, que le ponen varias como bicicletitas. Entonces, ah, eso, es, la, eso significa que por ahí tienen que ir los, los ciclistas. Entonces, los carros no deben de pasar ahí, solo los ciclistas. Como para dejar, como para dejar, para dejar como un lugar que sea safe para los ciclistas, ¿verdad? Y que, que o sea, que no, que los ciclistas tampoco no, no perjudiquen con el tránsito y que sea como más, más, eh, o sea, que no corran peligro los ciclistas, ¿verdad? Pero hay gente que por pasarle okay. al carro se, se meten ahí y eso no debe ser. Okay. Now, something has got to be done to stop littering. Something, something has, has got, got to, be done, to, be, done done to be, done be done to stop littering. To stop littering. ¿Esto saben qué significa? Littering. Littering. ¿Perdón? ¿Saben qué significa no, no, esto, littering? 
es cuando usted tira cualquier basurita en la calle. Ah, ok, ok. tipo de basura que, que se come un chicle y pum, ahí lo tira. Se come este, cualquier cosa y el empaque lo tira por eso. Entonces, eso es el littering. O sea, que va tirando basura por todos lados. Hay gente Ah, que okay. hasta ok. desde el carro tiran envases y cosas así. Entonces, este, por ejemplo, yo por lo menos prefiero andar basura en mi cartera y basura en mi carro y no estarlo tirando en la calle. ¿Verdad? Es más, este, eh, me gusta andar, qué sé yo, una bolsa donde ahí se va a ir echando toda la basura y ya cuando yo llego a mi casa, pum, lo pongo en el basura y ya estoy. Pero no me gusta andar tirando basura por todos lados. But that's education. And that has to be done at home. O sea, esa es educación que se debe hacer en la casa. ¿Verdad? Usted le enseña a un niño desde chiquito que debe de poner las cosas en su lugar y la basura donde debe de ir, y el niño aprende desde pequeño que así se debe de hacer. Y no lo va a tirar la basura por cualquier lado, donde quiera que esté. ¿Ok? So, we have to make that from home with the little children. And in that way, we will have a later a better society that will uh, keep the city clean. Uh, somebody says that the cleanest city is not the one that you uh, sweat the most. Is the one that you don't literally. Okay. O sea, la, la ciudad más limpia no es la que más se barre, sino la que no se ensucia. ¿Verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, to give recommendations, we use modals plus B plus past infinitive. If you notice, modal, past infinity, modal, verb to be, past infinity, okay? And when something is a good idea, should or ought to, we use should or ought to to tell something that is a good idea. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, what is should? How, how should is debería, debería, mm -hmm. y octo is debe. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. It's almost the same. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, must or have got, to or have to, okay? You have to go to school, okay? You must go to school, okay? Something absolutely necessary. Now, let's go to the knowledge check. Y con este terminábamos el de lunes. Okay, let's see the knowledge check. Teacher, ¿cómo fue que dijo que se eh, ponía debo? Should or ought to. You ought to study more. Should, debería. You should. should debería, pero ought to. Después de O-G-H-T. Octo. O U G H T. Octo. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, uh, complete the sentences positively or negatively. Use the verbs in parentheses along with the model. No capital letters or periods are needed. Follow the sample. Uh, somebody to read the example, please. Uh, 
Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, pe people should be allowed to use cell phone while driving. Uh -huh. Shouldn't be allowed. Should not be allowed. Or should be allowed. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? The first. Sí, la primera y la segunda es igual. La única diferencia es que aquí este, eh, va contractado y aquí va en eh, su forma completa. ¿Vean? Should not be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. ¿Ok? O sea, puede ser esta o esta. Para mí que no se debería de dejar que la gente utilice los teléfonos cuando va manejando. ¿Verdad? Este, yo lo que hago es, es, es andar a mis hijos conmigo y si, y si, si consideramos que la llamada es muy importante, ellos me la contestan, pero yo no ando, yo no ando tocando los teléfonos. Ok, now, number one shouldn't be allowed, ok, now, number two. Somebody to read number two, please. Mm, teacher. Uh -huh, go ahead. Young people must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Okay, thank you very much. Must not be permitted. Okay, must not be permitted. Now, somebody to read number three. Number three. Thanks, Chair. Okay. Workers uh -huh. Yes, but how, how you will put it? Uh, companies must um, to require to give works periodic breaks ought to ought to okay. be required o sea deben o sea a las compañías se les debe de pedir que le den a sus trabajadores eh Descansos periódicos. Ok. Yes, Nadia. Teacher, I, I have a question, but uh, in the exercise, when we can use mass and mass and, and the other word I don't, don't remember, is it's it's more imperative and um, is obligation is is the yes, when you say when you say must is uh, like an imperative okay it's like yes. like a what excuse me teacher a law uh, it, imperative it, yes it's imperative uh, in my case i i think in the first when i i i work in exercise number three uh, i i run when i i write the mass for because for me it's very important uh, this this yes. e this example yes. it is, it is important. but in the exercise but in the exercise but is it's correct how to, to be group to es debería o sea es ah, como ah, como si eh, debería es pero no es no. obligación o sea is something yes. advisable but it's not an obligation. Yeah, okay. uh, in my opinion, it is an obligation in the number three, but it's a, it's es a different que, Lo que pasa answer. es que también depende del tipo de trabajo que se haga. Entonces, una obligación es independientemente del trabajo. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, eh, si es un doctor y está en lo mejor de una cirugía, 
no le van a decir, mire, usted vaya a que ya es su hora del break. ¿Verdad? Obvio. Está en cirugía, tiene que terminar la cirugía. Cuando termine la cirugía, se puede ir a descansar. Pero mientras está en cirugía, o que haya una emergencia, eh, y que hay mucha gente necesitada ahí, qué sé yo, en emergency room, por muy que sea su break, va a tener que estar ahí, atendiendo a los pacientes, porque es una emergencia. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, por eso es opto. O sea, se debe, pero no es una obligación, sino que dependiendo de las circunstancias. ¿Verdad? Ok, teacher. Thanks. Ok. Now, uh, number four. Teacher. Uh -huh. people, people. Shouldn't, people shouldn't be allowed to have pets in high, in high rise apartment. Okay. People shouldn't be allowed, be allowed to have pets in high rise apartments. What do you think about that? For me, it depends on the pet. Para mí, depende de, 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 de la mascota, ¿verdad? Pero si va a ser eh, un perrito, para mí es hasta deplorable tener un perrito en un apartamento. O sea, los, los perritos necesitan como más libertad de movimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, es más, para mí, un perro grande no debería estar en una de las casas normales de, de El Salvador, ¿verdad? de las casas que, que compra todo el mundo, porque no hay suficiente espacio para el perrito, mucho menos un apartamento. Entonces, los, para mí los perros grandes, así, que deben estar, que sé yo, como en una finca o algo así, donde pueda esparcirse, pero en esos pedacitos de casita, eh, que, que, que hay en El Salvador a, actualmente como qué sé yo lo de las margaritas o alta vista que son pedacitos de casa eh, este un, un perro grande se, se desespera ¿verdad? en un lugar tan chiquito pero, pero eso according to me I don't know what do you think eh, they could have a, a, little, a little pet o sea un, 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 un perro pequeño como, qué sé yo, pequinés, maltés, este, algo pequeño, o sea, no enorme, no un pastor alemán, ¿verdad? What do you think? I am okay. talking about the benefit for the pet. Because that's okay. why there are many pets that are very nervous, because they cannot go and have all the exercise they need. They need to be exercised. They necesitan ejercitarse. In a very small pay, a space, they cannot. Do you in have case, pets? No, teacher, in my case, I don't, I don't like pets. You don't like <laughs> pets, but you don't like them. No. no. Okay. But in the the house, my mom. Uh huh. Um, Your mother uh, has a pet. My 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 mom has a pet. Uh huh. What kind of pet? It's, it's a, a big one or a small one. Oh, it's medium. <laughs> no, medium. It's, it's... Okay. Yes. And the and the house is is big or is it small? And the house is um, uh, big, okay. big, big. Then the, 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 uh, the, the pet can uh, go and run the, and whatever. It's okay. Yes, in the, the yard, the space is, 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 is big. Okay, o sea, that's good. La casa es pequeña, pero... Pero tiene, no, tiene pet. Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, now number five. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Science students, 
Science students be permitted to use animal for research. Okay, what do you think about that? ¿Qué piensan sobre eso? Uh, uh, five uh, questions, teacher. ¿Qué piensan sobre esto? Que los científicos no se les debería permitir usar animales para investigaciones. It's agree for me, but it's important um, uh, the scientific. Uh, uh, they use the different. Uh -huh. Well, the thing is that. Uh, many, many things that are used for humans are first uh, tested on animals. Yeah, I, I prefer the, the, the animal for the, the human, but, but <laughs> it, the, the animal... But, but, is... <laughs> but I guess that it depends if it, it is depends. it is something... If, if it is something know, that it, 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 it won't damage the animal. O sea, algo que no vaya a dañar el animal. Porque, por ejemplo, eh, eh, there are chemicals that they use for, for, eh, for example, um, for makeup that they tested on animals. But... Uh, 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 I, example, I guess yeah. that, that that's not that important. Para but mí the other, no es tan importante. But the other sample, the, 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 the use of the animal is the psychology. But uh, the example uh, for one teoría, and you say teoría, and the uh, song, yeah. But they use the... Um, the one dog, when the, the tocaban la campanita, I don't know. Pavlov, Pavlov, the dog yeah. of Pavlov. Uh, Pavlov when the, the, uh, dog. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Y de, y, 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 el, de, el perrito babiaba cuando tocaban yes. la campanita porque la asociaban con, lo asociaban with, con with the food. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a special experiment. Okay. Now, number six. Somebody to read number six, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Laws must be passed. Be passed. Come se pronuncia? Must be passed. Passed. Be passed. Laws. Laws must be passed to ban the sale of handguns. Handguns. Okay. Hand what do you think about this? O sea, las armas. Ban es eh, evitar, prohibir. To ban. O sea, leyes deben de pasarse para eh, prohibir la venta de armas eh, de, de mano, o sea, de revólveres, pistolas y cosas así. What do you think de about that? Sí. What do you think about that? El Salvador, yes. Okay. I, I guess that everywhere. And, and worse, the rifles and big and machine guns and things like that. In United States, that's why they have too many people being killed because they have too much guns everywhere. Okay. For me, the people that has to be trained in order to do to use guns, and also they need to be tested from time to time that they are psychologically uh, straight, o sea, que estén psicológicamente alineados, 
¿verdad? Because if, if you are, if you have, if you can use gas and you are mentally unstable, unstable, you will go and kill anyone, okay? And for me, you cannot have a guns when there are people that is mentally unstable. O sea, no deberían de existir armas donde hay gente que esté mentalmente inestable. Okay. And you can, you can uh, realize if you have in your family some, somebody that is not going on the right path. O sea, uno se puede dar cuenta cuando en la familia hay alguien que anda haciendo cosas oscuras. Okay. What do you think about that? I guess that in United States, they don't work on these laws because uh, the armaments, the industry of the armaments is very powerful in United States. O sea, en los Estados Unidos, las, las, las compañías que, que hacen y venden armamentos son bien eh, poderosas. O sea, que ellos son los que deciden muchas cosas. Y por eso es que esas leyes no las pasan. ¿Quién está viendo? Oh, really? There was a shooting near your house. That's, that, that, you still have that problem? Where do you live, Nadia? Where do you live? In San Salvador, yes, but San Salvador, what area? Que San Salvador, el departamento es bien grande. En el área de Ilopango, en el área de... Ah, por San Marcos. Sí, bueno. Allí, my mother used to work in a school called eh, El Milagro. And when they took San Marcos, the night before, uh, this guy, ¿cómo se llamaba este hombre? The one that killed the poet, el que mató al poeta. Well, I don't remember the name right now. Well, he was a student with my mother at, at El Milagro School. And he, he told her not to get to the school next next night, but he didn't tell why. And they took San Marcos. And when he saw my mother, he told her, I told you not to come. And she said, I didn't know you would take San Marcos. I thought you don't want to have a test. <laughs> And and he recommend my mother to two of the gorillas that he had under his power, and they took her from from San Marcos to San Jacinto, uh, walking for in in uh, como dicen por los arabales ahí, por, por, la metieron por todos lados. And then, eh, when they got to San, San Jacinto, she told them to, to leave her there and that she will go in a taxi eh, to our house because we live in, we lived, we used to live in Colonia Vista Hermosa, but my mother works eh, in the morning in one school in the afternoon in a, a private school 
en at night eh, en el milagro full and it was very very terrific for her she didn't go any anymore to to that school she she resigned <laughs> Poor mom. Well, number seven. Somebody to read number seven, please. May I miss? Yes, please. Okay. The sale of foreign products must be permitted. Do you think that must be permitted or mustn't be permitted? I think it mustn't be permitted. Because it's not for, for me, animals. yes, it, 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 it should be mustn't because for products, uh, uh, you need to kill animals in order to get their food. I agree with you. Uh -huh. uh, most of the people use it not because they need to, but just for uh extravagance okay now number eight number eight hello hello me teacher something? okay go ahead something Something should be done to stop clothes from staying open so late. Okay, what do you think about that? Para mí, para mí, que los días de semana, o sea, de lunes a jueves, deberían de cerrar, qué sé yo, a las 10, 11 de la noche. Y los fines de semana sí poderse quedar como un poco más tarde, ¿verdad? Los viernes y sábados. Ya domingo no, porque el lunes tienen que levantarse temprano para ir a trabajar. ¿tien? O sea, it, it is good to go and, and relax and dance and whatever they do. But also, eh, they used to sell alcoholic beverages. And if you go and take too much alcohol, next day you won't be productive. O sea, el siguiente día usted no va a ser productivo. And they should have also a, a maximum of liquor that you can take for me. Oh. Especially from Monday to Thursday. Not only because of the driving thing, but also because you need to go and be productive next day. What do you think about that? I think that not all people have the same life. Not all people have to be, uh, um, have to be to work from eight to five or 6 p.m. I don't know. A mm -hmm. lot of people, People have your their own business, so they don't yes, have. But even they, even they, if they you... don't have to do role, rules about how they will live their life. So yes, maybe. So, but even yeah. if you have your own business, you yeah. have to be productive. If you have your own business and you are not doing your business, then you will be go. You you will be wasting your money and time. What happen if if your money work for you? So you don't have to to be in any of your business. Maybe you only have to to um to watch the I don't know your computer and the Wall Street. I don't know. Oh, okay. you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. And and there, there is a lot of people who is uh I don't know what is, what is the the word in, in English, but people who is nocturna too. 
And oh, that okay. is natural for, to to some people. They they can't uh, live in the day. They just can live in night. And okay. in night are productive. Those are yeah, those like are a, old old people. Old, o sea, que son como como bulls. Yeah. Uh -huh. que, que, yes. que they they go at night they yes. they they are a, a night person and they yes. scientific and, and, uh, and they keep uh, and they keep dream uh, sleeping during the day and awake yes. in the in the like like, like vampires in the afternoon maybe <laughs> yes and, like and work <laughs> in the in the night yes yes, yes it's true it's scientific true. for example they are in the in this way because because they they can concentrate more in the night yeah yes a lot of scientists 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 are in this way scientists yes scientists yes well maybe because uh, uh, during the morning uh, there is more noise and and people are going around the house and all that uh, maybe at night is more quiet but when you when you want to concentrate it doesn't matter what is around okay you you have to learn to concentrate even if there is too much noise around you because as people is growing for example if you know a uh, japanese people they can concentrate very well even when there is a lot of people around them making noises but they can concentrate on whatever they are doing. That's a training. That's a kind of training. Okay, this was the the check knowledge for this day. Any any questions about the 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 pattern? Alguna pregunta sobre el patrón? Sobre la estructura? No. No. Ya todos habían terminado, ¿verdad? Pero de todos modos estamos repasando las cosas. Okay. It is almost time. Eh... Me no. Okay. Do you do you need to to know something? No. No questions. Okay. No. Fine. We we don't have we don't have problems with the with the with Zoom now. Okay. Let's see. I will start this one. Okay. Now, somebody to read the thought. Education in the art of dance is education of the whole man. His physical, mental, and emotional natures are disciplined and nourished simultaneously in dance. Okay. I know that many people don't like to dance, but uh, I, I, I really love classical dancing and also a uh, modern dance i like the people who who performs dancing and and it's true they have a, a, a physical mental and emotional nature and they they are disciplined okay and if you ever get into learn how to dance it will be nice for you it it develops a lot in your brain and uh, most people that are uh, that have problems with when elderly people they join parts where they could, could go and dance and all that and it helps them a lot with their uh, 
with their mental problems. Okay. Now, see you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. See you Good tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.